tune in. I just asked uh, online for recommendations for messages in the snow, and it was interesting. Two of you made a recommendation simultaneously that said that there is a season for everything. And I immediately, I got giddy because I thought about salt. And I'd say we're in God's salt shaker at this very moment in this season with snow coming down. And I thought about our speech that is, it is defined by salt. Let your speech always be gracious, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how you ought to answer each person. Well, how do we answer in the seasons around us? Well, we're also told... Uh, by the same person to Timothy. He says, I charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who is to judge the living and the dead, and by his appearing and his kingdom, preach the word, be ready in season and out of season, reprove, rebuke, and exhort with complete patience and teaching. For the time is coming when people will not endure sound teaching, but having itching ears, they will accumulate for themselves teachers to suit their own passions and will turn away from listening to the truth and wander off into myths. See, there's going to be times where people do not want to hear the words of God that are going to be the same for the day in which he returns in verse 1. And we realize that there are some that say, well, that, that message is so last season. I don't want to hear that message. That's not something that you can say. The words that we're saying now will be relevant 10 years from now. The words that we are reading now will be relevant on the day of judgment. So we've got to fall in line with what they say, whether it's in season or not. So let the word of God be the salt that desperately is needed for the taste in people's mouth. But also let it be the preservation for their soul. That is what salt is used for. Instant, in season, and out of season. But as we let our words be gracious, seasoned with salt, we're to always be kind.